So, Manchester, UK. As I said, I'm um, getting the canal feeder, Alton Reservoir's canal feeder. And this is part two of that. So we've jumped over from where the guy disappears onto land near, it's the old Elton Town Hall because I'm now on the bank of the Irwell and I'm here to show you some of the effects of global warming. The Elton side of Berry. Uh, so we're on the Berry bank, uh, we're now in Elton. So the bank has washed away on the far bank over there. The path is totally gone, it used to be a road, you can see it built in. The cobbled road is totally washed away over the other side of the bank. But what it has done, over there is the old Berry Bridge. It's in the middle there. And I'll just back out from there. And over there's the road that's disappeared. Um, it might not be global warming, it's probably just the water neandering on the river. But all that's gone, it used to be the old road, you can see it layered underneath the main, it, there used to be Woodhill Road. So anyway, the Earl of Stanley owned the town hall and the manor. He was Lord of the Manor, yeah, Lord Derby. That was in 1713, so we're going back to 1713. Um, <clears throat> The guy was built 1800, so that goes through the land of the Earl. That then becomes a farm. Just show you the junction of the railway that crossed over. It's the electric line that goes to Oakenbrook next to Ramsbottom. I don't want to confuse you. There is another line that goes to Ramsbottom. So this line that I'm on now used to go to Oakenbrook through Tottington. Um, it's on private property, but we saw where it disappeared to. It then goes under an old railway. The sun's just disappeared in. So I'll just have to go to a different setting. So we can just see over there. Right, it's exposed a little culvert. Which is a guide feeder, canal feeder, which explains the weir which is over in that direction. So every time we find a weir, that's Berry Bridge. There's a guide feeder involved, just not far away, which was underground and has been exposed by the bank being washed away. So we're going to jump over to <clears throat> um, yeah. So it's not Elton over in Berry. We are now in Elton. Elton's old. It translates as Eel Town in Saxon. Uh, Edwardian England, that's like the 1900s. A world of trams, trains, electric trains and trams from around 1910. Yeah, and the railway went along this viaduct. For example, in Blackpool, you could stroll along the new electrified promenade with its miniature Eiffel Tower. It was the most popular holiday destination in the world. Uh, yes, even before Disney. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? From Rochdale's large modern railway station, the world is now your oyster. 1913. Bolton, you can buy your newspaper from one of the first news agents in the world. It was along Holton Lane End. So luckily, all the things we need to see are still in situation. Like that mill. And the old Wood Hill House. And the guy is just down here, it re-emerges. Littleborough was a hot spot for electric trams. Uh, canals now linked as far as London to Newcastle, all the way over to this side to Trafford Park. Um, Trafford Park, the landowners of the manor, to make way for
for for our cars sell up um, so you can now buy cars which were being produced mass produced at Trafford Park on the horizon though in a few years from in the 1900s that is there is a war so we're going to go back to our canal feeder now so you have to trust me it does emerge in these brambles here it flows along down So now here, it flows down towards us, and you can see it's next to the mill. It was under a bridge underneath us. We emerge just here. Through this tunnel. I'm sorry about the noise pollution. A very busy road and it disappeared behind Elton Manor, the old Elton Manor home in the town hall or where things were done, legally binding things were done and it emerges here behind this mill. We're going to walk along behind this mill and have a look and we'll see some of its more fascinating features. So we've got some road traffic. I know it's probably only me that gets this. I can't even look at a structure without wondering what it is. I wonder what that is. <laughs> so yeah, the guy's behind us. Don't worry, I've not lost you. But what we really need to see is, so this is the point where there's an aqueduct we want to see. There's another aqueduct that carries, carries the guy, canal feeder. I'd say we're about the halfway point. So we're about a mile along now over Woodhill Brook. Woodhill Brook had like reservoirs, which you'll see on this map. Uh, they fed mills down where we started this video on the bank to the Irwell. Uh, we'll get this, we'll have a unique looking canal tunnel now and this is a stretch I'm going to walk along now and then we can go down and film the, uh, as I said, there's an aqueduct yeah, so it's down there in a the valley I need to jump over to the other side of the bank and just so we don't lose the guy and back on top of the aqueduct, which you can't see. It goes off round in the corner over there, the guy. And obviously, Woodhill Brook has to go underneath the canal feeder. Yep, it goes over this little gem from the Industrial Revolution. I hope we can do it justice. Yep, stone aqueduct, bit of a hidden one that. And just the UK brief videos of time. And the guy canal feeder must have been quite an affair, quite an important affair, but it is to get the canal open. Any means are necessary to get these canals open. You'll notice at this point, the guy's actually empty of water. It's crossed the aqueduct, disappears around that corner. See the old wooden fence for the canal. Uh, we've gone out of Woodhill and we're going closer towards All Saints Church, that's in Elton. We have to go around this bend and it's straight down there. And then on this bridge, there's 
one little bit of interest goes under here but because it's drained I can try and show you how deep it used to be more evidence of canals boats so it came off from over there so I'll just change the focus so we can get the wall so it's under this bridge and off over there but you can see the old wall on either side hopefully and how deep it used to be so from that bridge we're now on the main roads you might not be able to hear me so well so I'm going to shout a bit more it goes down behind All Saints Church. All Saints Church was built 1838 and it's in a Romanesque style. So it's like the churches you will find in Rome, basically. Uh, also Spain and Greece. Yep, so it's definitely being drained today. It falls down here along the old wall. I just like to add as I'm walking along uh, you probably noticed it's been drained I didn't expect that but hopefully they're fixing the dam over at the reservoir so it will be interesting to take a look at that you know, a bit more information runs along behind that green shed at the end it leads off towards the church in that direction Christianity is the same all around the world because it's spread all around the world it's one of the only things where it's not there's not much cultural differences in the buildings anyway so it goes along there it's now underground and it also goes through the gas works which is being knocked down and is very secure so there's no way I can get that other than show it you as we follow this map as it, you'll see it go through the gas works and it emerges at the end here and I've tried to rush along the first five minutes of this video Cars. We've got to get to Elton Reservoir. I've got to show you a few bits and bobs along the way. And I think Elton Reservoir may be empty because it looks like the goit's being drained. It doesn't matter because we're showing the line of the goit. And it's a. Uh... Then I'll just show you how it links to the canal, and we're not going to film the canal today, just the feeder. we got uh, gravestones in this area around the graveyard of the church the gravestones first appeared around 1860s until that most gravestones were flat on the ground like these
travelling all the way along the top of this for what's called an aqueduct. Also, we see the black brick. It's a familiar building type of the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway Company. And you can understand the size of it. It's behind a warehouse here where the gas works used to be. And obviously you should be getting some idea of the length now. Just quickly, the train line ran along here too to the gas works, bringing coal. That was LYR. Went under there. Okay, just walk down this street here. Uh, just an explanation. You'll see the guy just disappeared underneath ground into what's called a culvert. But it used to go along all the way here. And I'm going to point my camera down to the wall. And it's still underground there. It goes all the way along to that side over there. It meets Bolton Road there and goes under it. It went along here. The only evidence of that is this wall. It's on the other side underground there. It crosses over the road there. It's then culverted behind all those houses on the other side of the road. But it's underground. It crosses here. I'll show you where it emerges and it's about not 0.9 miles away. Yeah, it's behind that wall there. Comes all the way from down there. That's where we crossed over the road. And it's all the way along there. It's not under us, it's actually on that side of the house, it's all the way along. But this is the length of it. So down there's the lake that's at the side of the railway. Daisyfield railway station is over there, or would have been. And we're going to just walk up this way. And it's up here. You see a straight line in the trees. And the guy is on the ground here. Just so you can see me. Blasted off. It's one of those days where I've got a bit of glare because it's weather's changing. I forget I wear my glasses sometimes. Sorry about that. But it's all along here, all along the trees, and there's some evidence of a tunnel there. You can just make out an arch tunnel and a bridge. That went over the guy, which then changed direction. Oh, he's still with me. Oh, he's still with me there. Went under that bridge. 
and change direction. See it buried there in the ground. Northern world and goes off in there. Right, so uh, like I said in my last video, a lot of the places are still actually here. So it would have been here like 1850s, 1900s, definitely. The guy has to stay at this height, and I think it's this grid here. It can't drop down because it has to make it a little bit further yet. So I'm saying that the guy is now underground in there. At the bottom you'll see a bridge, a viaduct for a little train. That's part of the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway Company. I'll just try and zoom in on that. And that was the train line that goes to the gas works that I mentioned. And one of the sites that is still in existence is here. And it's Florence Nightingale's Hospital for Infectious Diseases. It isn't anymore, it's a mental health hospital. And down there through the trees is where our guy actually emerges. And hopefully you've got some idea of the scale of the length of this thing. So it's gone all the way. That would be the old railway line, by the way. You can tell where how straight it is. Goes under that bridge. But the guy emerges there. And then flows all the way along here. And there's another little bridge down here. But I think Elton Reservoir is definitely being drained, which will be interesting. So yeah, something's under construction. The guy is drained down there. Yeah, so hopefully you've got an idea of its length. We're at the end, 1.9 miles away from that weir in Burrs. And it is to fill the reservoir at the bottom. I'll just show you the sluice gate. So it's going a bit brighter now. So it's in there. It would have been a lot deeper than that, you see. That's totally empty. That's uh, just a puddle at the bottom. It's not, it's not really flowing that. Down in this direction still. Um, like I've said before, some of the other videos. Yeah, some of the other videos I've filmed. Yeah, there's some construction work going on here, so this would be interesting. Yeah, that I've filmed places before. And this is certainly a place I've filmed before lots of times. So if you want to look at the Harry Bolton Canal Reservoir, that it's when it was full, but it is currently drained. And that would be the sluice gate and the old brick walls. And it's still going, yeah, so there's a place around here, it's a, a farm that would have been 1850s called Wob Snab. And there was the Farmer's Inn or Farmer's Arm, the public house. And it's still going. It's like it's never ending, isn't it? But I'm going to get to the end now. Like I say, it's about the guy, just the length of the guy to show you what they went through in the Industrial Revolution just to bring water to where it was needed. The reservoir still does have water, but it's, something's happening here. Falls off down that direction. So yeah, it's been drained and repaired. But the, um, I keep showing you the map, the black and white map as we've walked along today. Uh, the boat houses are on that map and they're still on the map. So the guy is here. And it arrives here to fill this reservoir, which is drained to repair the dam most probably. So we'll have a walk that way. But 
you say it's not in a natural basin or valley. This reservoir was absolutely necessary to fill the canal. So what they've done is build a wall the entire length. Yeah, all the way along there. It's one of the longest dams in Europe, possibly the longest dam in Europe. It's only small, but it's long. So they basically built a reservoir. I am now stood inside the reservoir walking around. So let's see if we can find any important historical artifacts. Might find um, some Egyptian writing out here. That's a joke, I know you won't find that. So normally, yeah, the water goes much further up there. You can't wander too far in here because you will sink in the mud. Now it's off limits, you can't get to that side. So this is the reservoir, and there's the old boat houses. It would be called a lodge at one point. But there is warnings now that there's dangerous sinking sand and mud. But if you want, the guy is still flowing there. So it would be flowing under the reservoir. So when they first built it, before the reservoir, the guy probably went all the way to the canal, I would su suggest. Well, that's, that's why it's still here. So that was the channel dug out to the river, to the canal originally. So we're actually in the Manchester Bolton and Berry Canal Reservoir. We're actually inside it now. I would be submerged at this point. I'm a metre or two underneath now. And those ducks are wondering what's going on. Where's the water gone, guys? Don't seem to get it. Really all that remains now is to say the dam is being repaired. I also think it's being upgraded to have a hydro power um, facility, which will be for the boat club. So they'll get free power out of their own reservoir, I should imagine. Plus that dam, like I say, it has to take all that weight of the water. I'm just walking down now, so we're done. Because everything else is on other videos. And I'll just finish with the shot of the canal. And I'm not going to go out walking along the canal because you know what I'm like, I'll be walking along them till midnight if I get on one. I've not been for a walk on a canal for a long time. Oh yeah, that's Wobsnab Farm by the way. Incidentally, that was the site of the farm in the farmers in pub and there's the dam under construction uh i don't know if you noticed but i said the guy must have gone all the way to here before they built the reservoir which makes sense they started building the reservoir at the same time as the canal boat probably but i'll try and get it if i can here arriving it enters onto a weir there and uh, yeah, so that's the actual guy that's gone through the reservoir and still carrying on across this lane underground here. I do support saving the green belt, save our green belt, the green belt doesn't belong to anybody, belongs to nature, and it comes out there. The guy all the way along there, and that's the Manchester Bolton and Berry Canal. As I live and breathe. <laughs> right, so we've got a bonus feature because this bit's never been cut away before. I've never actually been over this side myself to see the wall yet. As I imagine, matches the brickwork over in Burr's Country Park. Just to prove that it's the same part. And as old as that weir. 
flows along there, fills the whole canal for 19 miles, and then flows over there to that overflow, which we'll get to. Yeah, so this overflow in front of me. Um, I've no notes on me, everything that I've said in this video. Uh, I actually know. So this is the overflow. Once the canal's filled for 19 miles, it will then flow over here. Back into the air well. Thank you.